for a watch along of this Monty Rottenham film. If you're seeing this on YouTube, just like the other two parts, if you haven't seen the other two parts, please go watch the other two parts. Uh, it's going to be very cut up because of copyright reasons. If you like to see full on cut version, you can never to Patreon. I'll believe in the but the you can check that out. Let's end, wrap this up. At the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> spoiler alert. And it will be a spoiler review because we had just seen the film with you. So if you skip and you haven't seen it, that's on you. <laughs> that is on you. <laughs> you are completely responsible. <laughs> you are. Shakti. Are you going to apologize? Love saved her. Why did you have? Oh. Where have we been? Moral of the story, appreciate what you have. Yeah, because and it communicate could, correctly. Could get hit by a car and then If you died, I would murder you. Same. And that would be so selfish of you. So true. So selfish. Don't ever do it. I will kill you. <laughs> okay. Um because unlike that man, I actually love you. Okay, that's not fair. It is. It is. It's not. Schizophrenic ass. He was working off a incorrect definition of love. I mean, the correct definition of marriage, too. That as well. I feel like they both said a lot of things that they shouldn't have said. It wasn't just one-sided. Well, he was a dick almost immediately. Yeah, though. it was like he got married. Well, like okay, he got married, and then when he was actually with her, because when they were married, he was still sweet. Well, but I'm then, glad. I was worried for 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 a minute because I was like, "Is this just going to be? <laughs> this is what happens after you get married?" Movie. <laughs> um, and then he actually realizes well, he was, and she obviously as well. It was very wrong in how they were treating it, especially him, uh, treating each other. Yeah. And their views of, ah, oh, we're married now. Nothing matters anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did we it. Just, we just bicker and yeah. boss each other around. And, and then yeah. I did think of the, I, I, did, I it was, took me a second to figure out what that, the husband of the wife that, um, Hit her with the car. Yeah. Uh, it took me because I was like, is he going to murder her for Yeah, her? I totally thought that it was That is the something... definition of love, technically. <laughs> I thought, I definitely thought it was like something nefarious. Like he I was... would murder somebody for you, babe. No. Yes, I would. No. Well, why not? Why not? Would like, you murder somebody for your kids? Go out and kill somebody just to prove that you love me? If you ask me to. No, I will never ask you just to. Just ask me to do it and I'll do it, <laughs> babe. never. I'll murder... The whole world for you. Oh, wow. It's very romantic. It's true love. Oh, my God. That's love right there. And then right it should there. be us on the earth. And how amazing does that sound? Even Rick. I'll kill him. <laughs> kill him right here. Right um, here. <laughs> put his head. Yikes. On stick. Um, it could be your new old monk bottle. <laughs> <laughs> See? True love. Uh, yeah, but it took me a second to figure out. Cause I was like, Is he going to murder her for her? Yeah, I and definitely. he's like, now that's true love. Yeah. Wow. But then it was actually like, 
kind of more sweet than that. Yeah. One, he was worried for her, actually, and got her in there to actually get her help. Mm Mm-hmm. And then he was going to take the fall for his wife. Right. Um, But I definitely thought at first, like, when he was like, okay, we're going to, like, stash the car and, like, I'm going to go into the hospital and kill her. And then, but what he was doing was he was making sure she got the care that she needed to survive. He was actually being selfless. But it was. In his um, marriage. It was definitely. And love. Yes. But it was definitely shot well in that you thought this was the villain. Yeah, I did. Because I also thought that. I thought he was going to murder her. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That, <laughs> like, I didn't, like, the only thing, I didn't see her getting hit coming, except when she was in the street with green screen behind her. I was like, oh, something's about to happen. <laughs> right. Cause, well, when she was, like, looking both ways, I was like, oh, my gosh. She got hit. No. She got hit. <laughs> Um, no. Yeah. Um, it, it, talk nice to your partner. And, yeah. And have respect for each other and how you talk to each other. You're going to fight, yeah. but do it respectfully. <laughs> yeah. But also, like, don't just, like, pop off and say things. Like, you shouldn't let him me. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, don't even talk to me. Don't even touch me. Like, how are you going to have any resolution about anything? You're just being mean. We haven't spoken in 10 days. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. What? How are you living with somebody? And, and then he just comes back in and them. kisses her on the cheek like nothing, like well, they haven't not talked for 10 days. Yeah, but not only that, he's like, he's like, hasn't talked for 10 days and he comes in and kisses her on the cheek and then he's like, so we're going to pretend... Like, his opener is, we're going to pretend like everything's fine and we're an ideal couple. Man. Man. Yeah. Sir. Um, sir. It, it's it's very different kind of movie, but it strikes me as similar to The Notebook. Because we it's, it's a lovely movie, obviously. It's a lovely it's, movie. But it's also very toxic, their yeah. entire relationship. Um, and <laughs> all. Constantly arguing, being awful to each other. Yeah. But, you know, they have so much passion and love for each other. Yeah. How can you not be in love with Ryan Gosling? You know, right? I mean. um, And the sex that they had. <laughs> and the sex that they had. <laughs> Better songs in this Okay, one. also. Better songs. The songs in this were so good. Well, it's. Is this. Oh, I was going to say it's 90s. A.R. Roman. It's right after 90s, 2000. Uh, era Mon. So like this, Bombay and all those like Ir- yeah. Irivar, is that what it's called? The other terror um terrorist one. Um just slapped. Yeah. His uh his his composition slapped back. So then. beautiful. Um two sex songs. That's awesome. Um Yeah, I, they're not it's I was not expecting it to be I was expecting it more like the, the first part. Of it like being a like a full love story, yeah. Not the um, kind of love story, and then marriage, and just kind of not treating it the same way as you did before, and taking like taking for granted, I guess, uh, certain things. Well, marriage. I wonder if um, more realistic for some part people. Of it, I guess part of it is like they were depicting like maybe some of the unspoken bitterness and resentment that they had towards one another for losing their families. Yeah. No, I think that had something to do with it. And so like they were trying to navigate not only this new life with it it's just them, but also like they have hurt from their partner because now they don't have their families. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. It was just weird because like he would be like such a dick and then like the next scene he's like hey, 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 hey. I know. Especially that one where he's like, I can't, like, I had to wait 45 minutes for you. And she was like, you know, you said, like, two hours was nothing for just two minutes and yeah. before we were married. And then he, he was just, like, grabbing her. And she was like, this is all, like, and then, this is it? This is what you wanted? Yeah. And then, like, you wake up. She wants to jump your bones, basically. And you want the and newspaper? And you want the newspaper? You... Bro. I don't think you like women. 
row. No judgment. You do you. Live your life. But I don't think you like women if that is your first response to your beautiful wife Just wanting being like, to jump your bones in the morning. Right. Weird. Not something I would do personally. <laughs> um yeah, it was wild. Nope, for not sure. gonna say. Go give me that newspaper. We don't have newspapers really anymore here. But uh, <laughs> regardless, <laughs> um, clearly you don't have kids though, because they would have just come running in at that one time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was good. I, yeah, it, it was. was. A, it was a very good movie. It was. Um, I like the. I like that it came back to them. Actually yeah, yeah, yeah. loving each yeah, other. Actually, like, realizing that... They need to need appreciate to, each other yeah, and... Before it's gone. Yeah. And treat each other correctly. Hopefully yeah. hopefully they learn that and be selfless for each other. And yeah. All that good stuff. Mushy, gushy, bushy, bushy stuff. <laughs> um, like, when that... Uh, the one guy was talking about little sacrifices and how in the beginning it's like a flower. Mm -hmm. But then once you get married, it's like roots. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I think I understand what he was saying. Like you're growing something deeper and more beneficial and mean. Yes. Like means just more. Just sounds weird. It's just the way he put it made it seem like. Like the marriage part is, yeah, just that, something you gotta do. That's never our, our our cup of tea when, you know, we're old fashioned and you know we actually love each other. Um, old fashioned, yeah, we're old fashioned like that. But like when like TV shows, movies, or have those like relationships of like the couples that's together and they hate each other. And, yeah. Like, to, why are you together? Like, what? But also, like, why is that such like a popular like depiction? Like, why would I think it's you? Because it's reality for a lot of people. Yeah, but I mean, I think that's true. But if you're both miserable, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. I was like, oh, if you hate each other, like, and you're like unhappy, just go your separate ways. Yeah, L life is really short to be unhappy. And also, don't <laughs> hurt anybody in in the process, like. Have an open dialogue. Hey, we're clearly unhappy. It's going to hurt. It's going to be painful because we've built this life together. Yeah. But we're unhappy. We don't we we don't delight in each other anymore. Yeah. It's time to go. Yeah. Don't do the like backhanded, oh, I'm miserable, so I'm going to go bang one out with Hori McGee. <laughs> yeah, like don't do that cuz that creates more wounds and it's just awful. Just have the conversation, the open dialogue, and be real, and just like, look, we're unhappy, and we yeah. should, we should be happy. I'm glad he, he figured it out in the end, because I was yeah. worried. I was like, where's this going? I know, like, I'm gonna be in this loveless marriage. Yeah. When they were so in they, love, and hopefully they actually learned. I always have my doubts. Um, I don't think people change all that much. So. Uh, <laughs> But also, I mean, it's a. I think it was just like, it was like a domino effect, right? Because the mom came in and she was like, she was awful to them too, right? And she even said she was like, I'm not so angry anymore. Yeah. Like my anger has, yeah, of course, of course, because now you're faced with the reality that you could lose your daughter and you were not talking to her. Yeah, they clearly learned their bad communication from their parents. Yeah, clearly, and lack of respect while talking to each other. Yeah. Um. It's a learned behavior for sure. Um, but cute. Yeah. Um, it's a good uh, Money Rotten film. Definitely up there. I think my favorite is still Bombay. Did you see? You didn't see mm -mm. Bombay, right? No. no. You need, yeah, that's probably my favorite one. But you saw, I think you saw the other. I think Ir is this Irvar? No, that's not what it is. What is it? You saw Del Say. Mm -hmm. We liked that one. Rick didn't like that one. Del Say. Um, what was it? Oh, you saw Guru. That's a uh, little B. Um, Did I see it? Yes, that's a review one. So you were definitely watching it with me. Uh, it's him and Ashwarya, his wife. Oh wow! I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> 
Um, honey, no, 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 no. You're fire. I was correct. I was correct. Um, he, uh, this is, this is, he, he directed this guy right here. Sorry, I was looking up jaundice and adults. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, Raviana. Okay. Uh, uh, and this is the depiction of whoever that was that captured Sita. Okay. Yeah. The... And, and this is kind of a modern day telling of that, that kind of story. He directed Mani Ratnam. It's uh, Vikram and uh, Ashwarya. Uh, and uh, Prithi Rogers in there too. Um, a lot of people like this one. Since you know Ravayana. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of those records that you guys can let us know. If that should be one of the next ones that we watch. How many people die of jaundice? I can't say specifically that he died of that, but she did mention jaundice. Yeah. When she read the paper. Sorry. Um, says jaundice itself requires no treatment in adults. <laughs> Unlike in newborns, if the cause is a blocked bile duct, a procedure may be done to open the bile duct. Hmm. This was 2000. We had no medicine in 2000. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it didn't specify specifically what he died of. It just said he, maybe that was just a underlying condition of something. Um, it's often signs of a problem with liver, gallbladder, or pancreas. So maybe like, mm, maybe maybe it was an issue with like, so he had the bilirubin build up, and so then. Also, maybe. did she say jaundice, or was that just the translation oh, that we got? That's always an option. That's also yeah. Well, it could have been something completely different, and totally. the subs were like jaundice. <laughs> it's definitely jaundice. It wasn't jaundice. It was <laughs> cancer. <laughs> Whoa, those are different. That's a very different. Uh, anyways, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. Um, I just wish they respected each other more. <laughs> hopefully they will now. Hopefully now. Um, unless she's dead now. Brain damage is a bitch. Um, well, she was talking very... <laughs> she's fine now. Clearly. And she got hit hard. She and did. It fell very far. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's going to be hurting for a while. Yeah. Um, but lovely. Uh, let us know what you thought about the movie, everybody. Um, and lovely songs, of course. Uh, yes. Yeah, great songs. Uh, if, uh, you saw us on YouTube, obviously you saw a very cut up version. If you didn't see full uncut version, though, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put a link to the description below, pin comments, you can go check that out. And other Tamil films that Seth or Rick and I have watched. Those are all on Patreon for you. Uh, let us know what our... Don't touch me. Bring me my newspaper. <laughs> I'm not bringing um, you a newspaper. <laughs> we'll set it on fire. <laughs> um, let us know what our next watch along should be. Tamil, uh, Mani Ratnam, uh, any of them. Um, there's a lot. Stuff like some romance, sci-fi. What is Corbin like? Not much. That's not true. You. I like you. No, movies. You oh. like you love movies. No. But you like when people murder people. I love it when people murder each other. Just like if you died, I would murder you. So don't ever do it. <laughs> uh let us know what the next Tamil watch along should be with Steph. Um and anything else we need to know.